Well, I'm all set up. All I need now is some customers. I got a guy coming to pick up that buck and that big buoy that I cleaned up. I don't know if I showed you that or not after I cleaned it up. I'll get it out of there. I got the uh, Cali Mizzou. My grinder came in. I'll show you the pictures of that when I get home. Soap ladies here. Kids just left. Hey, buddy. Organic groceries over there. And the cupcake guys right there. As you can see, it's a little bleak in the market. The girl says it's been bleak all week. I got a telephone call, so I know I got a lady husband bringing me some uh, pampered chef's knives to drop in today. So I should have some business. She didn't say how many. Stand by for that. If you remember the big Pakistani buck, I mean uh, Bowie, it was uh, good on this side and kind of bad on that side. It had some bad pits. Well, it still got some. I couldn't get them all out. They were so bad. But I got the most of them out. So this sharpened up pretty good. Polished up good. And the buck, I'm not going to take the buck out, but it sharpened up really great. And it really polished up good, that brass. She's a fine taquita. Okay, stand by. I had a mission this morning. Two weeks ago when I was over here, I bought some of this coffee. It's called Mobjack Bay Mobjack Java Dark Roast. And it was, I got a, I got a cup of coffee from the cupcake guy right there. And it was some of the best coffee I ever had. So I asked him what it was. And he told me this is what it was, so I bought a bag of it. Well, it went over like a hit. So I got two more bags this morning. And then I saw this on the shelf. It says, same company, Mobjack Bay, made about 70 miles north of me, not far from where Douglas lives. Uh, it says, strong enough to raise the dead. That might be perfect. That'll get me going in the morning. You gotta have that little extra poof, you know what I mean? This may be it. Dead rise bled. <laughs> it's got a battleship on there with a skull on it. Okay, stand by. The knife guy that's bringing me the knives just called. He's on his way now. Pampered chefs, so I know I'll have some kind of action. Woo. I don't have ever seen that many pampered chefs before, one pile. Anyway, the fellow just drove up with his wife's knives. I'll share off on them and my wife will take them to work tomorrow and he'll pick them up from her since he lives kind of close, not very close to here. Uh, we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight knives. Big chef's knife, Santuco, a short Santuco, a boner, a para. I call this a utility knife. I don't know what they call it. Let's see if they got a name for it. Nope. German. These are nice, nice uh, pamper chef knives. And that's oh, a pamper chef knife too. One of them little coated knives. Okay, we got to get to work. We got some action. A little deceiving. You can see right there it says. Uh, German CMV steel. However, closer observation. Let me turn it over. It's the wrong side. Looks like some of them rings I find. There goes the neighborhood. They'll get sharp. They just don't stay as sharp as some knives. Well, things are picking up. I got uh, four hankles, two pair of scissors. One's a hankle scissor, the other is Chicago cutlery. There's international hankles, some from Spain, some from Thailand. 
Stand by. The lady's coming back, please. I gotta get to work. More. Smith and Wesson Black Ops. Yeah, yeah. With that, that spring assist. There's some German scissors. Yeah.